Bless morning, 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 people of God. God is good and He's worthy to be praised. It is Friday morning. It is a wonderful Friday to be in the land of the living. God is a wonderful and awesome God. Uh, he's great to us. He is our way maker. He is our provider. He is our strength. And we thank the Lord today for being who and what he is. He is a God that can just do all things but fail. And I'm grateful to serve to serve a God like that. So as we come in this morning for the morning encouragement, I ask that you just tag, uh, tag and share. Uh, the live as we begin to worship and praise and have a good time in the Lord today. God bless you. Yes, the power that work from you. Yes, God is able to do. Yes, God, just what He said He would do. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He's gonna fulfill every promise. To you. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Don't give up on God. Yes, He's able. How many believe it tonight that the Lord is able? Yes, yes, yes. God bless you all that are joining this morning. God bless you. God bless you. I ask that you tag and share, share the live. Uh, invite a friend this morning to be encouraged. Yes, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Yes, yes. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, don't give up on God. Bless morning, bless morning, bless morning. Sister Andrea, God bless you. I ask that you tag and share because God is able, He's able, He's able. He's able, he's able, he's able today. Yes, God, we thank you this morning, oh God, for being an able and mighty God. Yes, hallelujah. Blessed morning, blessed morning. God is able to do just what he said. Yes, just what he said he would do. Yes, God, he's going to fulfill every promise, every promise to you. Yes, God, yes, God, bless us today, oh Father. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. He's able. He's able. He's able. Do you believe that this morning? Do you believe that the Lord is able? Tag and share today. Tag and share. Someone needs to know that our God, he is able. He's able. He's able. Yes. If you know it, just sing along. Yes, God. Yes, God. He's able. Yes, 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 yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He's able. He's able. He's able. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He's able. Yes. He's able. I'm tagging and sharing. I need you to tag and share. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes. He's able. Yes. He's able. He's able. He's able. How many of you believe that the Lord is able today? How many of you believe that you know that God is a great God and, and he's able? I've tried him. Have you tried him? He's able, whatever he said, he's going to do it. Yes. Whatever he promised, he's going to do it. Yes. He's able. He's able. Yes. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's able. 
I tried him. He's able. He's able. He's able. Come on, he's able. He's able. He's able. I need to be convinced that you all know that the Lord is able. Uh, we got to rewind that this morning. We got to rewind that because you got to feel that in your spirit. You got to understand that the God that we serve is an able God. The God that we serve can do exceedingly and abundantly all that we could ever hope for or imagine. So this morning, we just come to praise the name of the Lord. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes. Yes, yes, according to the power that worketh in you. Yes, God, yes, God. Help us today, God. Yes, God is able to do. Yes, God. Just what he said. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Every promise to you. Yes, God. Yes, he will. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. He's able. Do you believe today that the Lord is able? How many of you believe that this morning, that God is able? If you believe he's able, just put some hearts in there. If you believe that God can bring you out and deliver you from the snares of the enemy, just put some hearts in there. Because it's only God that can bring you out. Only God. Only God. Yes, yes, he's going to fulfill. Yes, yes, yes. Every promise to you. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on him. Because he won't give up on you. He's able. He's able. I believe that this morning that he's able. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God. Move, God. Move, God. Yes. God is able to do. Yes, God. Just what he said. Ah, bless morning, bless morning, bless morning. Sister Rosa, Sister Denise, bless morning. Sister Cookie, God bless you. Uh, Sister Carla, I'm sorry, God bless you. Yes, don't give up on God. Don't give up on him. Bless morning, bless morning, bless morning. I believe the man of God was on here. God bless you to my husband. Uh, God bless you, minister, uh, uh, Pastor Sean. God bless you. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. Uh, he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able. Yes, sing with me this morning, sing with me. Do you love the Lord this morning? If you love God, just type, God, I love you. If you love God, just type, God, I love you. Because God, there is no one that can bring me out but you. There is no one that can deliver me, God, but you. Yes, God, we know that you're able. Yes, yes. He's able. Yes. He's able. He's able. Get ready to sing with me, people of God. Yes. Come on and say. Yes. He's able. He's able. He's able. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. He's able. He's able. He's able. Yes, he's able. He's able. That's right, Sister Carla. He's able. He's able. He's able. Have you tried him? Has anybody tried him today? If you believe that God is able, you should put that in the comments because he said whatever he said, I, he's going to do it. Yes, God. Whatever he promised, he's going to do it. Yes, his promises are yes and amen. He's able. I tried him. He's able. He's able. He's able. Bless one, bless morning, woman of God. God bless you. Thank you for joining. Please share. Please share. Please share. Bless morning, Shandrika, sister Shandrika. God bless you. Uh, we ask, please just share. Tag the tag people in the live that you know that just simply need to be encouraged. We thank the Lord this morning. How many of you know? 
that our God is able. How many of you know that God's plans for you are to prosper you? Do you believe that this morning? Because sometimes the wages of life and the things that are going on in our lives cause us to feel sometimes that we're just not going to make it. Uh, blessed morning, Auntie Shelly. God bless you. Thank you for joining. But we have to understand that the God that we serve is an able God. The God that we serve can never make a mistake. The God that we serve is a God that can do all things but fail. Do you believe that today? Do you believe that the God that you say that you trust in? I know my God, my God, my God supplies all of my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. But do you believe this morning that God can do all things for you but fail? Do you believe this morning that God has a way lined out for you? And that way is to provide you prosperity and joy and happiness. Do you believe that today? Because without belief, there's no way that you can walk this journey called faith. You have to believe that the God that sits high and the God that looks low, that he is capable of doing all things. His promises are yes and amen. And the song said, whatever he said, he's going to do it. Whatever he promised, he's going to do it. Why? Because he's able. See, sometimes we get so consumed in our problems and in our grief and all the things that are going on around us that we forget to believe that our God can bring us out. We forget to stand on the promises of God. As Psalms 23 says, yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, that will fear no evil. Why? Because my God, he's with me. His rod and his staff, it comforts me. Do you you understand that God is always working for you even when you're not working for him that God has grace and favor upon your life our God is an awesome God and he reigns from heaven above and understand that in this time and in this season God is not looking for us to be perfect he's looking for us to be faithful and sometimes we get so caught up on the mistakes that we made that we allow those things to hinder us from our progress in God. But today we decree and declare in the atmosphere that we're going higher and further. Higher and further. Because we know that our God is with us. So this morning, if you have your Bibles, I'm, I'm not going to be before you too long. I, I, I don't typically say that, but this time I, I, I got to make sure because I was running a little bit behind. But I just want to quickly come from 2 Corinthians 9 and 8. And I'm reading from the Amplified Version. And it says, uh, 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 9, verse 8. And it says, And God is able to make all grace, every favor and earthly blessing, come in abundance to you. Now, um, I don't know about anybody else, but when I hear that... Uh, abundance come to me that that excites me because uh abundance is is, is wonderful it <laughs> It is a great thing. So when I hear come in abundance to, to you, that to you, I'm going to put me in that. That, that means that that scripture is talking to me, that, that God is able, uh, uh, to make all grace, every favor and earthly blessing. Uh, see, sometimes we, we don't realize that even in our earthly, uh, form and in the natural that we are blessed beyond measure because as it is so in the spirit, as it is on the earth, do you understand that the scripture, and I'm not done with that scripture yet I'm sorry but I'm getting excited because we have to understand that it says that what we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven and what we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven so that means that when we loose a uh, favor and abundance prosperity great health and wealth in the midst of the atmosphere blessed morning to you sister Stephanie that means that it is also loosed in heaven so that means that in heaven it is loosed and in earth it is loosed so that means that guess what it shall come to you. It says so that you may always under all circumstances, regardless of the need, 
Uh, listen, I'm getting excited. I, I might have to go and just shout on my own because I, I need to see some heart to something flashing because this scripture text is, is blessing me. It says, have complete sufficiency in everything, being completely self-sufficient in him and have an abundance for every good work and act of charity. Now, I don't know about you, but when I serve the God that I serve, I serve Jehovah. I serve a God that is telling me in his word that he is able to make all grace. That that, that says, uh, and, and, and you got to look at the key words. It says all, and then it goes to, to come into abundance. So you said that you may, so that you may always have complete sufficiency in everything. So that means that there is no room to have discord, to have failure, to not move forth, to not be in abundance, to not be completely filled unless you allow the room to take place. Because when you allow God to come in and develop you, God is able to make all grace. That means every favor, every earthly blessing come in abundance to you. That means that he is subjecting this favor of grace upon your life. Oh, that's the God that I serve. I, I'm excited today because I thank him because he's the God that can do all things for me. It says so that you may always under all circumstances. Do you understand that sometimes the circumstances that present itself, it makes it very difficult uh, to manage certain things. Uh, have you ever had a job or a task that uh, under the circumstances that you were given that you were not able to fulfill that task uh, of work because the circumstances presented too much challenge? But it says that God is able. See, when we submit ourselves to God, God is able to turn everything that we can't do into something thing that we can because the scripture says that we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Do you understand that in the midst of not being able to figure out something, when you call upon the name of God, he will then send another way into your, uh, into your mind. Uh, uh, you start saying, well, let me try this. I, I, I'll share that uh, when we were uh, preparing um, some gift bags for uh, the launch service and God bless you all for joining us in the launch service. We had a wonderful time in the Lord. God bless you. Um, uh, we were putting some bags together and I wanted the bags, uh, to have, um, uh, the ribbon on it a certain way because we had enough ribbon, but we weren't sure that we had just enough to go around all the bags. So, uh, we were, let's try it like this and let's try it like that. And, and I heard, just give the bag to sister Andrea. She, she gonna figure out a way. So the next thing I know, she passed a look. And when I looked at the bag, I said, that is exactly how I wanted it. Do you understand that when we allow God to come in under any circumstance, God can make a way. It says, regardless of the need. So what you have to understand is that your God, our God is greater than our needs. We get so stuck and so complacent in our problems that we forget to understand that God is a great God and he can do all things. So we begin to tell God how big our problems are instead of telling our problems how big our God is. So then we don't understand that we are allowing our problems to consume us when God said that he would make all grace come in abundance to you. So what, what does abundance mean? I, 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 I want to see what the dictionary says, uh, the definition of abundance mean. Now, I know I can give an idea, uh, abundance is this and, you know, great opportunities and, and great wealth and things of that nature. But it says abundance is a very large quantity of something. Oh my God. So have you ever felt like you just weren't getting enough? Have you ever felt like what was going on in your life? It just wasn't working out the way that you desire. It just, it just simply wasn't enough. But when God makes all things of abundance flow in your life, that means that you have a, it didn't just say a large quantity. It said a very large. That means that is more than enough. Do you understand that the God that we serve will bless you with more than enough? Do you understand that the job that you're on, that you're going through 
strife after strife that God is still working on your behalf. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. But you got to wait and understand that God is in the midst of what you're going through. It says that, that you may always under all circumstances, regardless of the need, have complete sufficiency in everything, being completely self-sufficient in him and have an abundance for every good work and act of charity. So that means good work means you have to give. Charity means that you're giving something. Uh, charity doesn't always mean money. Sometimes charity is your time. A lot of times we think that uh, when we give something, it always has to be monetary. Sometimes uh, charity is your time. Uh, sometimes people value time more than they value money because it seems like people just don't have time these days for much of anything. So I encourage you this morning to know that God is able. I encourage you this morning to stand on God's promises, which are yes and amen. I encourage you this morning to know that our God, he is an awesome God and he will never fail you. And he is the God that restores. He is the God that he never uh, would tell you a lie, nor is he the son of man that he would need to repent. God is working it out for you, people of God. You just have to trust him. You just have to trust him. And yes, you may not see all the things that he's doing, but know that God is doing something spectacular for you. I, I want to share a testimony this morning. We thank God for uh, the word of God. That was Second Corinthians uh, 9 and 8, and I read from the Amplified. And I just want to share very briefly. Um, you know, we have been talking about the number uh, 22, and uh, we talked about how our bishop, uh, Bishop Travis Jones, uh, God bless him this morning, and, and Pastor Ali, God bless you both, um, that uh, Bishop came and did a crusade here um, in Miami, um, and, and he said uh, that God gave him a word, and the word that he gave was large volume, rapid pace, brief moment, and he said, I hear the Lord say 22. Now, I'm like, God, well, we've been hearing that number two, so that's just confirmation. So he said, I want you, the people that can, to sow on the number 22. So uh, my husband and I, we stood up and, and, and we sowed to 22. Now, I, I, I said to the men of God that was sitting next to me, the elder, I said, my birthday is 222. And his mouth just said, what? And then I told Bishop and he was like, Oh my God, right? So I said, God, there's something about this number, uh, 222. I woke up this morning. When I got back in the bed, my phone time was 222. When I log in to certain things, I'm seeing 222. Uh, when we did the launch service, mm -hmm. we asked for seeds of 222 because we gave 222, right? So God is doing something in the number, but my testimony is I called um, to the bank and I was on the phone with a gentleman. I had a general question about something. And, and when the guy got on the phone, um, you know, you have to verify your identity. And, and here's the thing when God is in you, you don't have to tell anyone that God is in you. Uh, people will see that for themselves. Uh, so when I got on the phone, I was speaking to the gentleman um, and, and he said to me, um, you know, you have to verify your date of birth. And I, I don't even know if I did that because they recognize the phone number when you call in. But he said, um, I'm looking here at your profile and I see your date of birth is 222. He says, you know, I, I, I can hear in the sound of your voice that I believe that you have the same beliefs as me. So here, here's what's taking place. You know, sometimes, uh, especially in the work field, you have to be careful about talking about God, right? Because then some people like to cause a problem because you're talking about the God that you serve, but they can say all that they want. But he was bold enough to say, I'm not going to let this opportunity pass me. You just listen. If I talk about God and you got a problem, you're just going to have to let me go because I'm not going to stop talking about God because you got a problem with him. You say what you want to say. I'm going to be able to express that I serve God. So he said, 
your voice, you can hear um, the, the, he said the heaviness in your voice that uh, it, 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 it sounds and I can tell that you believe in the same thing that I believe. And he said, there is something uh, great that is getting ready to happen for you in that 222. He says, and, and, and I hear so many people uh, doing things for 222. It is something about the 222. And he says that there is going to be great favor. Now, mind you, I don't even know where this man is. I, I don't know where he lives. I, all I'm doing is calling just to inquire. God, I, at this moment, this is the moment in time that I had. And, and the, is it coincidence that God connected me to this representative? No, it's not by coincidence because God wanted me to see and hear that there is something that you've been putting in the atmosphere. And everywhere you go, I'm going to let you see that I am working in your faith. See, we have to understand that when we plant, when we plant and we begin to water the seed that we plant, God will come through for us and he will send everyone around us to confirm what we're putting in the atmosphere. But you got to believe it, people of God. You got to believe that God is going to do what he said. So I'm still decreeing. He said, I can tell by the sound in your voice that, that it's a sound that uh, you, you can tell that you, you serve uh, uh, and believe in the same thing that I believe in. I said, well, glory to God. Let the voice of the Lord come through me that when I speak that I can draw man and be a fisherman of man, that it draws people just by the sound of my voice. You have to understand that it is not about being perfect, but it is about being faithful to God's will. And when you walk in God, you don't have to announce who you are. People will recognize who you are. The Lord says, be ye holy because I am holy. So when God is in you, it's seen. And that's why some people give you so much problems because what's in you is aggravating the demons in them. But you got to stand firm on the word of God. So I simply encourage you today, put a declaration in the atmosphere. 222, I woke up this morning, I uh, got back in the bed and I looked at my phone and it said 222. I said, my God, this man said, your birthday is 222. It is something going on with that number. I hear many people speaking things about that number. So that means that what God gave my bishop, which I already know that we are our bishop. Now I'm not going to be stingy. He's our bishop. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be stingy. Uh, what he gave to him and what he gave to, to me, it, it, it aligns to the word of God because not only are we seeing it and speaking it, but we have other people that we do not even know that are confirming it. Across a whole nother place, we have no idea where they are. They've never spoken with us before. So understand that God is doing something very strategic. There is something that is going on in the atmosphere. I'm trying not to be stingy, man of God. I say, ah, Bishop. I say, ah, Bishop. You know, <laughs> but we have to understand we got to trust God. We have to trust God. We have to trust God. Because when we trust him, we'll see those things that we trust him with manifest. 222. So I encourage you today to continue to sow 22 somewhere. It could be $22. It could be 122. It, it could be 1022. It, it just continue to put that in the atmosphere whenever you can, because God is doing something and believe, you know, two means union, right? Uh, we, we, we talked about the number 52, uh, um, on the launch service, I spoke about that and, and I, I didn't mention, uh, because I, I was in the scripture of Isaiah chapter 52, but, uh, the 52 also came because it took Nehemiah 52 days to build a wall. So 50 means Holy spirit. The number two means union. So that means the Holy spirit is getting ready to bring some things together. Do you know how strategic God is? You just got to be willing to catch it because sometimes you miss it because your mind is not on God. That's right, woman of God, sister Sharon. God makes no mistakes. So we have to continue to trust God and know that God is who he says he is. He's able. That's the song I played this morning. I, 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 that He's able. 
He's able. Because guess what? He is able. He's the God that created the heavens and the earth. He created you. He created me. And I, I was going to put, oh, join me in morning encouragement. I have a great testimony. But, you know, I didn't share that because I wanted the people that were here, those that will watch later to hear. I put a seed in the ground. And everywhere I go, because I keep watering that seed, I have not stopped giving to 22. I have not stopped giving seeds with 22 in it. Uh, I've been doing that since the crusade in December. But God is still showing me. I'm blessing you. I'm setting up structure. I'm setting up structure. That's what he's doing. And here's the thing. Many people will come and say, oh, give seeds. But they're not giving. Mm -mm. I'm not going to ask you to give and I don't. Mm -mm. You know why? Because I want it. I want it just as much as you. So we have to understand that what God is doing right now, it is for us. It is for us. And if you believe that God is able, if you want to put that in your atmosphere, then you sow on that. Now, I don't tell you to sow to me, but if you desire to sow to, to Restoration at the Well, uh, Family Media Ministries, you can do so. The information is in the comments. The cash app is dollar sign FMM. INC07. You can download our app on your Google or Apple Play Store uh, and you can give there or you can go to the website restorationatthewell.org. Uh, when, I, when I say give, I, you can give to me and sow a seed on the word that I've given, but you, you could sow anywhere. It doesn't have to be to me. I don't, I don't, I don't feel that uh, 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 you have to give to me. You just got to give. You got to plant seeds. You have to. It says good work and charitable service. Don't we know that God loves a cheerful giver? Nobody should have to pull on you to give. So today I encourage you to know as you go throughout your Friday, as you go throughout your weekend, know that God is able. He's able. So him, who's him? Jesus, H-I-M-M, -M, he's molding me. We pray, we P-R-A-Y, we prioritize righteousness around you. We are hashtagging addicted to Jesus. S2P, we want your soul to prosper. We bout that Jesus life. We bout that Jesus life. Uh, you know, I know I speak a little perfect sometimes, but sometimes we got to let Satan know. We bout that Jesus life, right? Uh, we stay ready so we don't have to get ready. We chucking up the deuces to Satan. Why? Because he got to go. He got to pack all his bags. Everything that he brought to try to defeat us, he got to go. We In 2022, we crossed over. That means everything that tried to hinder us in 2021, we crossed over that and we came into 2022 ready. Because we ain't scared. I'm bad. I am BAD. I'm blessed and delivered. We're rocking with the best. J-E-S-U-S. -S. They play checkers. We play chess. Why? Because we're strategic in how we serve the Lord. Tighten up. We live a life of prosperity. We're hashtagging. We are restored. Pump your brakes. Use me, Lord, for your glory. Stop being extra. Some of y'all be doing too much. Too much emotions, not enough God. Now, come on now. You cannot be healed from what you do not reveal. You are what you answer to. We don't shake, we shift. We pray together, we praise together, we're kingdom for life. Don't say it, just pray it. Don't compromise who and what you are in Christ for anyone or anything. God will bring you out without a doubt. Trust God even when you cannot trace him. And we will not bow to anyone or anything but Jesus. And we will get over we're not living in a pandemic. We're living in a shift -demic. Stay in your lane. Your lane is God, I trust you. Not, oh God, why me? Oh God, I can't do this. No, God, I trust you. Why? Because God is able. That's right. We crossed over, Sister Sharon. We crossed over, right? Uh, your lane is, uh, God, you can do it. I trust you. I don't know what's going on. I don't understand everything, but God, I trust you. Uh, we worshipers, baby. We free worshipers. We CEOs, we're conquering every opposition. We stay ready so we ain't got to get ready. I say that twice. You got to stay ready. How do you stay ready? You got to have the word of God in you. We will not be moved. You know, things come in your life. The enemy comes. Uh, the scripture, Luke 4, 13, I keep putting this in the atmosphere to understand because if he did it to Jesus, he'll do it to us. It says that he left temporarily for a more opportune moment 
That means that Satan will leave after you have not been tempted as he's tried and he will come back. So he's waiting. So you got to stay ready. You got to stay ready. Right? I will not be moved. You cannot evangelize and antagonize at the same time. Now, it is that time, and I'm sure you, you all have begun to write this in your comments. And, and I get so excited. I, I like to drum roll. I get so excited because this blesses me. This is, this is something that I walk. This is the mentality that we live by. We kingdom, baby. Listen, when someone comes up to you trying to talk, listen, we kingdom. That means that I'm not going to respond to you outside of humility. I'm not going to allow the enemy to tempt me in your, your ignorance. I'm going to walk under a kingdom mentality because I walk with kingdom authority. We kingdom, we kingdom, we kingdom, baby. And you got to believe that. Oh, because we walk under a God that is able. We serve a God that is able. The man said, I can tell by the sound of your voice that you serve the same master that I serve. Do you know that when we praise God in the heavens, that we have a sound, a sound that sounds off the other sound, the sound that begins to, to pray and to worship in the spirit of God? Do you understand that we are all children of God? He's our father. And we thank him today. He's able. I'm excited, people of God. He's able. So we thank the Lord. We do have some announcements, and I thank you all for joining. Uh, if you would like to sow, the information is in the in the comment section. Again, I don't know if anyone has put the cash app in there, um, but it is dollar sign FMMINC07. Now, here's the thing. I'm not asking you to sow because I want your money. I'm asking you to sow if you desire to sow. I don't, I'm not asking you to sow because I want your money. And sometimes people have to understand that. Um, it is to help build the kingdom. It is not for me. So I, I want to share um, something that the Lord gave me years ago. And I want to say this to encourage someone because what God told you to do, uh, when you stop doing it, he going to bring it back to you again. Uh, so years ago, I started 530 a.m. prayer. Excuse me. 5.30 a.m. prayers, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 5.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're in a different time zone, that could be three hours behind us. It could be an hour behind us. Um, but we have been, and I stopped it for a while. I heard the Lord just say stop it. And then the Lord said bring it back. So I did. Uh, but when I started years ago, I was coming on Facebook, and I didn't see people gravitating to the prayer. So I stopped doing it on Facebook, but I still con continue to do it on the phone. Well, I heard the Lord speak to me and say, in February, um, you're going to bring 5.30 a.m. prayer back to Facebook. Um, I'm still not very thrilled about that, but I I'd rather be in the will of God and not in his way. <laughs> the man of God, my husband, gave that message. Uh, I, I want to be in his will, not in his way. So um, I, I said, okay, God. So I said, well, what is the first uh, day of February on a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and it was a Wednesday. Well, guess what the date was? February 2nd. There's that number again. 222. Uh, uh, we're, we're not talking about because the year is 222, but this is the year of 222, so you're going to always see uh, 222, but what I'm saying is that it's the second month, the second day, and then the year 2022. I said, my God, God, you're just doing some strategic things. Understand that God's will will align you the way it needs to be. So this uh, uh, February, February the 2nd, 5.30 a.m. prayer is coming back to Facebook. Uh, and we're also going to be streaming on Instagram. So if you have not followed us um, you can follow uh, Restoration at the Well. Uh, we do have an Instagram page, and we're going to be streaming live on that page. Uh, we are working on phasing uh, family meeting ministries into Restoration at the Well. Uh, that may take some time, but uh, you'll see some things change. If you're in the group, you've seen that I, uh, that we've changed the 
um, picture and some of the things and updated the information. Uh, but I encourage you to know that God is doing some great things. So uh, call in. You can call in over the phone still. The number it will still be available. The flyer will be coming out soon. Uh, and you can also catch us on a social media platform. And we are excited that, that God is doing something so strategic. And here's the thing. And I'll share this with you. I don't want to have to get up and, you know, get prepared and have to show my face. But guess what? God is calling me to do something. And I'd rather be in his will than be in his way. God is looking for us to be obedient, whether we want to or not. And don't hesitate because hesitate is still disobedience, right? You got to do it anyway. You can't serve God in your feelings, right? So we thank God for that. Uh, if you'd like to join us in Sunday service, we are um, via Zoom at 11 a.m. every Sunday for Sunday service. Uh, and we're thanking God for what he's doing. And again, we thank each and every one of you that watched us live uh, on the launch uh, service on uh, January 15th, we had a wonderful time in the Lord. And for those that came out, God did a wonderful thing. And in the midst of all the opposition, we still stood firm on the promises of God and God blessed us. So we thank each and every one of you for supporting us. We honor each and every one of you uh, because it is it, we don't take your kindness and your generosity and your giving to us. We don't take it lightly. Uh, we thank God and we pray for all of you that God's blessings be a, be bestowed upon your life. Uh, I'm trying to make sure I'm not forgetting something. I, I think that I am, but I may not be. So uh, please download our church app. It is in your Google Play Store. It is in your Apple Play Store. It is available for you. It it we, it is it is wonderful uh, because you can go and watch all of our our our. Um, morning encouragements it, it carries you to the youtube page where you can see all the encouragements that we've given um and all the the um church services that we've posted on youtube and and follow us on youtube at restoration at the well uh you may have to scroll a little bit because it's not the first thing that pops up but it is there so just follow us because god is doing a great thing and and we want to be a blessing to the people of god as god's people are a blessing to us so I pray that I've said something this morning that has encouraged you to have a wonderful and blessed day. And no, smile, right? Smile, keep your head up, right? Keep your head up and smile. Know that you matter, that you're important and that you mean something. This is what I almost forgot, what I say in, in the morning encouragement, right? Right? Stay encouraged and remember to encourage someone today. Trust in the Lord and do good and know that ye shall always be fed and that ye shall dwell in the land forever. Know that all things, God causes all things to work for the good of those who love the Lord and who are called according to his purpose. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and God's righteousness and God's righteousness and be sober minded, well balanced and vigilant in your spirit because that enemy of yours, the devil, he roams around like a fierce lion and he's seeking for someone to devour trying to make sure I wasn't, he was telling me I was missing something. Um, we are super excited for what God is doing. Stay on your journey, people of God. Stay on your journey because God is doing a great thing. And we don't want you to miss all the abundance and overflow that God has for you. So go with God and know that God goes with you. We love you. And thank you for joining us this morning for Morning Encouragement. Have a blessed day, people of God. God bless you.